Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. Let's talk about the Epson R3000. This is the predecessor of the newer SureColor P600, which hasn't been around long enough yet to see if it has any kind of problems with that pesky valve, the black switching valve. Hopefully, Epson took care of that behind the scenes and has improved it to the point where it's no longer an issue, but we do not know yet as it hasn't been out in public use long enough yet. So this video is about a question that was asked by someone. Basically what happened was one of their blacks began to not print. And so he figured that even though he did commit to the switch, it's now printing blank. So what's going on? Is it really a clog? Well, guess what he did? He literally removed the cartridge in question attached a syringe with a piece of tubing and forcibly tried to feed Piesa Flush from Inkjet Mall. Now Piesa Flush is that pink stained amazing cleaning fluid that they sell. It's a very costly fluid so you have to be careful not to waste it unnecessarily. But anyway he did flush the system out. Now I used to think that some of the printers that use stationary carts you would not be able to actually force ink through the system because there should be some sort of valve preventing you from doing so unless the printer is actively printing. Could you actually have ink flow into the dampers? But apparently you can because he connected that syringe to the inlet port, the little spigot, and proceeded to carefully flush out that line. Well, Apparently he got it completely flushed out. And so now he put the cartridge back in, ran a cleaning, and was surprised that the nozzle check, now perfect, was extremely light. And he was wondering what happened. Well, a veteran member of the forum jumped in and basically he is also an R3000 owner, came from a R2880, just like me. And he suggested that what's happening is that because of the long ink lines and a damper system, you still have piezo flush in that whole assembly. And that needs to be flushed out. And the only way to flush that out is to print a black document now, when you do that, you're not printing with just black ink. You're printing with black ink, but also a composite of all of the other colors. The only way to print pure black from the black channel, whatever channel is activated, whether it's matte or photo, you need to use a rip. And the cheapest way to go is to use the shareware version of Quatone Rip. And there is a way to set it so that only the black channel is printing. Well, guess how many sheets of letter size paper it took printing a document, letter size black document, 45 sheets. At that point, finally, the printer was printing with pure black. And so that indicated that the pink PSO flush had completely been pushed out of the system. No more worries. And now apparently, he claims that everything is working dandy. And that is great news. Apparently, you can perform that. I would be very, very careful doing that sort of um, flushing system because you could very easily damage the link between the two black uh, dampers. There are two dampers that share the same single printhead channel. So you have to be very careful because you could rupture something. So anyway, but at least I wanted to share that with you that it actually did work. And so that would be a last resort if something like that ever happens to you and you actually own an R3000 or even the newer P600, which basically uses the same ink delivery system as the R3000. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.